Hello, my name is Gladys. Welcome back to my channel. Are you on a budget? I'm definitely on a budget. Save your money on these products because you don't really need them in your skincare routine. So let's get started. With the increasing popularity of Korean skincare brands, there is just so much products nowadays available in the skincare market. Well, I don't have all the money to spend on my skincare routine. I wish I had all the money to spend, but I don't. I'm going to share with you what are the products that you can save money on so you can splurge on those essential items on your skincare routine. So number one is toner. The traditional idea of toner comes from the toner will help to balance your pH after you cleanse your face and also remove all the residual from the cleanser itself. However, nowadays most of the cleansers are slightly acidic that could help to thoroughly cleanse your face and so the balancing of the pH is not necessary anymore. And the second thing is if you double cleanse your face, which I have a video talking about my two minute oil cleansing, if you follow that steps, it will thoroughly cleanse your face. And so that two function of toner is just not needed anymore. Based on that, I don't use toner for that particular reason. However, I'm not talking about those toner that could um, help to exfoliate your skin. I'm talking about salicylic acid toner or AHA toners like glycolic acid or lactic acid. So these products are perfectly fine because the purpose of this toner is to help to remove the dead skin cell on your face so that it helps to renew the cell on your skin. These toners are okay. But anything apart from that, I don't really use, especially the moisturizing one like the SP2 one. Anything that says, you know, moisturizing, I just don't use it. You can save money on that. The second one is facial oil. The main reason facial oil is a good emollient. What does emollient do? Emollient would smooth your skin by filling up the gaps between your skin flakes with droplets of oil. Emollients could be implant oils, squalene, fatty acids, or ceramides. And so that's what emollient does. Why I'm saying you don't need this extra step because if you have a good moisturizer, this step should be completed by your moisturizer. So what makes a good moisturizer? It has to have uh, occlusive ingredients that would protect your skin from having any trans epidermal water loss. And it would have humectant in it. It would attract moisture to your skin, hyaluronic acid, for example and then it would have emollient in it. Emollient is to smooth your skin out and the moisturizer that I'm using right now is able to do this three function and so I don't need to have an extra step and the moisturizer that I'm currently using is from CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This moisturizer is a lot cheaper than the facial oil that we can buy in the market whether it's an olive derived squalene or a, a rose hip oil so all this is a type of emollient. My moisturizer has CeraVe Ceramide. Ceramide is also emollient, so my moisturizer does that, and so I don't need an extra product. Except you want it to smell good, which I don't really encourage because I've said this in a lot of my video, fragrance has nothing to do with your skin. It would only trigger any kind of contact dermatitis down the road. So stay away from fragrance. And that fragrance is my point number three. I don't buy any skincare that has fragrance in it, which covers pretty much the majority of the skincare products you can find in the market. Stay away from fragrance because as I said, fragrance has nothing to do with your skincare, doesn't do anything. It's just like you're waiting for something to happen to get triggered on your skin and eventually when you your skin get triggered, something that you're not allergic to, now you become allergic to that ingredients. And so I would say really stay away from fragrance. Number four is any kind of mist. For me, the mist is just like useless and pointless because those mists advertise as they can put moisture to your skin if your skin feels dehydrated. Spray those mist on and so you can get instant moisture to your skin. I would say that's like so nonsense because one, it's like when your lips is dry and then you try to lick it and so it will instantly become moist. But then when the moisture evaporates, your lips become dry again. Sometimes it will be become even drier. That's what's happened with when you use those mist, moisturizing mist. It's just, I just don't understand what's the point of those products. You know, I'm, 
say for example this event or Avion Mist which used to be very popular in Hong Kong or in Asia says uh, the, the reason why it was popular because at that time I think there were a lot of flight attendants were using these items saying that, oh you can keep moisture on your skin that's that's just nonsense it's just like constantly licking your lips when your lips are like so dry but then you licking the lips doesn't solve the problem of your dehydrated skin it would just give it even more dry I don't buy mist save your money on mist okay I know it's not that expensive but save your money from any kind of mist and then the next one would be pore strips or any kind of scrub for your face I, I have tried pore strip when I was teenager like 18 or 16 and I love the feeling of peeling off those blackheads of your face because I was doing that quite a lot and so as a result I have quite a large pores around my nose which I can't do anything right now about it because once the pores are enlarged they're enlarged I can't shrink them back um, unless I try to minimize the appearance of it by constantly clearing the pore or the gunk that got stuck in my pores save your money from pore strip because it would just enlarge your pores and there are a lot of other ways chemically to remove those blackheads I know it's not as satisfying as watching those YouTube video of peeling those gunk off your pores or off your nose but then you don't want to damage your pores you don't want to enlarge it because once your pores are enlarged you can't go back stay away from those no matter what they do the physical peeling of itself is just too irritating for your skin if you want enlarged pores be my friends go and purchase them but if you don't want enlarged pores you have other ways to get rid of your blackheads for example by using salicylic acid stay away from pore strips save your money from that and then the next one would be scrub for face again <laughs> I remember when I used to be young, I love that St. Ives uh, apricot scrub. I know <coughs> for you that are watching, probably you get into that trap. Oh my god, you know, I'm gonna get this skin off my face and then I have nice glowy skin. I'm sorry. Even if you are in your early 20s, you don't want to use that harsh material, that really gritty kind of feeling on your skin. Stay away from scrub. Don't buy scrub. There are other ways of exfoliating your skin. For example, glycolic acid or salicylic acid as I said earlier. And so stay away from scrub. Um, I know those are not that expensive, but save your money on something else on serums or on actives. So you can buy those instead of buying scrub let me know if you find this video helpful and leave a comment down below if you like this video give this video a thumbs up i have more videos on how you can take care of your skin so you can check that out at the end of this video subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new video i will see you in my next one bye